Three, two, one. Big Dub Sports Hub. NBA's been quiet ever since we told them that their food was shit. Yeah. Uh, I think what it is is they just cut the Wi-Fi off and nobody can get on social media anymore. <laughs> they <laughs> shut it off. They blocked everybody. They're just gonna just be like a like one of those like. <sighs> they like, blocked everybody from showing off their food. There's gonna be like this like hostage looking video pop up like. <sighs> It'll be like when you go to WWE events. And like LeBron's like, is this thing on? Guys, we've been stuck in the bubble. They took away our internet access. I can barely get this video out. I am a prisoner. They've been giving me only dry biscuits and from Popeyes, and that's the only thing we've been allowed to eat. I have been losing muscle mass. I don't think I'm going to be able to go on much longer. And they're like, get back in the hole, LeBron. And they're spraying him with like get back out on the, the water court. bottle. Like, shh, 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 get back in there. And he's like, ah. And that's pretty much the NBA right now. <laughs> it's like when you're at a WWE <laughs> event and you try to post a story to Instagram or yeah, something, and then all yeah. of a sudden, five minutes after it's posted, it pops up. This story has been blocked by WWE, <laughs> and it's like, what? Oh. I did, like, selfie. There was, like, maybe some WWE music in the background. I panned over. I was like, look how far. I can't see nothing going on. And they're like, that's WWE's content. Oh. I know you can't make out any faces or tell it's even a WWE ring because you're sitting in the cheap seats, but that's ours. So then baseball started with all their uh, cardboard cutouts in the crowd. and mm. that's If you paid for that... Why don't you go donate that money to, like, charity or something? Come on. Do you know who took advantage of the cardboard? Who? Instagram dogs and cats. So I went to one of the dogs, and they're like, that's so funny. And, like, he has, like, a hundred fucking followers. And, like, you're not making money off this. It's just, like, I, I feel the need to be popular. My dog is probably the coolest thing about me, so... My dog is my personality. My dog's a personality, the so if y'all could get it, like all 50 it. people who are watching this live <laughs> stream of the baseball game to go follow my Instagram. Why would I want to watch a baseball game when nobody's Grubhub deliver me giant stadium hot dogs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have the Grubhub Gr guy and the mascot showing up outside. I guess I should start pushing. Gigantic hot dog. I, I guess I should start pushing Postmates. Why? Cause that, that's who we drive for. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> only Postmates. Only get Postmates. Any of them. Who wants to deliver hot? Who wants to deliver concession food? Concession Come on. stand food. Step up. Postmates, Grubhub. We get them concession workers back in there. DoorDash. Thirty dollars. I mean, you know they have to have like fifty mascot outfits. They can throw it on anybody. I'll do fifty dollar tip. Twenty five to the guy making my hot dog. Twenty five to the guy to drop it off. <laughs> Pay fifty dollars. Plus for fifty dollars for the hundred dollars I'll pay for staying hot dog. <laughs> I want the whole experience. I want some guy that spills beer on me, just run by, just oh sorry. And so as far as actual games go, the Rangers game was so exciting. Well, like the worst part of all baseball is they're just I funneling saw, in the the crowd the noise. The crowd noise is weird. Stop! I don't think I don't think they should do it. It's weird. I don't know if they got a guy hitting buttons back there or what, if he's just like Probably. back there DJing, just like. I just got one of those like, just uh, like, stream deck things. Stream deck. was like, oh, something happened, hit the button. He's not hitting it when something happens. Yeah, it was and just there was like, like one, because there's one game where nothing was like happening and then a crowd noise thing just all of a sudden <laughs> happened, like while the pitcher was throwing the ball. And it's like, wait, he, he like sat down and was, shit. <laughs> Rangers' first game was like six hits, one run for both teams. Six hits, one run. And like the whole game, the fans noise. One zero? Yeah, one zero. Whole game, fans noise. Just like, ah, best turn back. Nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of dumb. One of the Very, guys, one of the guys hit the cheer the button stupid, when somebody uh, got hurt. That happened. At, I think it was the Houston game. <laughs> the guy's hurt. like, oh, my arm. Maybe season career ending injury. And it's like, whee! <laughs> the, cra the cardboard cutouts go wild. <laughs> All the dog Instagrams fucking loved it. <laughs> the Texas Rangers new uh, new ballpark too. Yeah. Had a home run today. I'd give it like a, a zero. It's, it's pretty bad. 
It's boring to watch a game because of the hitters are complaining. They like hitters can't see the ball because the outfield. <laughs> I think that they said was the lights are lower than a normal stadium. So like, why? Because they didn't want to pay to build the roof taller. And like the lights are more like they're not like the like giant stadium lights. Cause it's like an indoor place. They're uh -huh. more like doctor's office lights or something. Isn't it supposed to be like one of the clear roof natural light? Yeah, clear roof natural yeah, light. What happened that? Because, yeah, the first game was 1-0, super boring, mm -hmm. um, nothing happened. I mean, it doesn't help when it's the Rockies and the fucking Rangers. Second but. game, 2-1. <laughs> Second game one. boring. 2-1, Colorado. They, you know, they in the offseason. hurt, right? Yeah, Kluber. Yeah. They worked so hard in the offseason to get Kluber, and they're like, that's the savior of the well, Rangers. That's, that's super future. exciting. Hurt off the mound. Astros had a similar thing. Justin Verlander, the Cy Young guy, done for the season today. I mean, Shoney Otoni, he came back, so that's kind of interesting for baseball. If you like then, that storyline, his pop selling for like hundred bucks. That's cool, um, I guess. Oh yeah, this stadium too. It also is just like somebody mixed Tropicana Field, Minute Maid Park together. It had orange juice, baby. Yeah, I had an orange juice baseball stadium, baby. We need to find out what Aldi's orange juice company is. <laughs> you know, whatever the knockoff brand is. Because it's like... Sponsor the stadium. Great value. Great value orange <laughs> great juice. Great value field. orange juice field. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's got the arch. Like... It, so it's somebody, somebody the found the field. Fort Worth oh, stockyard, the like the cell barn for the cows, and they posted the Rangers logo on it. Look... 100% like the stadium. <laughs> the cow barn. Yeah, it looks like a warehouse from the outside. It's not very... So my dad drives by, looks at it. There's probably like five or six poles up in concrete poured. My dad was They're building a pole barn. so much better. And they put so much effort into like the roof that like they're like the rest of it. Sheet nah. metal. They got a <laughs> bright really... light up T on there now. You can see that pretty far off. I guess that, that's something. The old stadium looked a lot better. Also put uh, the field uh, field level suite, which yeah, it might be cool if you're rich. But... You, yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you know when the games actually start and actually have real fans at it at attendance. Mm. There's just gonna be rich pricks back there on their phones, like in their suits, like not even watching. Yeah, but, they're not even they're probably not even into the game either. They're just George, like I'm rich. I want to be on TV. Got old the game. The mound was another complaint. Why? They said the mound feels really artificial. Oh, yeah, there are people pissed about the grass. Yeah, the, the grass. Fake grass. The fake grass, grass has been awful. They said the mound is way too tall, so it gives, like, the pitchers, like, a like the high ground, you know, like, you know, Obi-Wan. Like Obi-Wan. Oh, bear, she's like, I had the high ground, Anakin! And, like, he's just, like, any pitcher can get, like, three more mile per hour on their fastball pitching from that thing, and it, the pitchers, like, it feels hard, like, that's one of the things like Kluber is paying. And yeah, when it hits the ball, hits the grass, and you get that like the, the spring, the which, tires popping up there. The I guess that can make it a, a hitter's like hitter's advantage a little bit if they could ever see the ball to get it in play. <laughs> if you love strikeouts, three pitch strikeouts, this game's for you. But I like it. I mean, umpiring pitchers and hitters are all going. Getting tickets to it eventually because you know they're, they're I get, cheap i get free tickets too so everybody can it's baseball no i want to feel special <laughs> every time there's always sea geek spamming me with like rangers tickets are four dollars today and i'm like they're always four dollars yeah i mean i was getting some real nice free tickets though you want to tell them a, a story? Dad showdown and a kid showdown. Let's tell you a story. I am a world class <laughs> boxer. I've worked all my life in the sport to get me one of them fancy pay per view matches. And then guess what? My name got pulled. It got replaced with Birdman, 50 year old, versus 50 year old, I owned an island, versus YouTuber, versus I couldn't handle it in basketball. I was career backup. I mean, that's, that's the card. Career backup. Point guard. You know, weighing in at backup point guard. The backup Division. point guard heavyweight. <laughs> backup point guard champion of the world. We got Nate Robinson is going to fight Jake Paul. Because, you know, Jake Paul's a boxer. Questionable now. motives, Paul. <laughs> he's a boxer now, and so he's going to fight fighter. non boxers. Then, That's how you become. Do you a boxer, think he's right? doing all this to get like one of those Skillshare Attention. website <laughs> boxing tutorials? Skillshare website. It's just like <laughs> this is how you put into a jab, guys. 
Like, that's not Jack as a hook. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> hey, Mom, uh, can you send a boxing coach back in here so he can talk now? All right, kids, but if you want to join, what well, we're going to call this one. A he's going to start like a... Because he did this. Team Chaos. I don't know, whatever happened That seems... That. What, what happened to that last scam he did? It, it didn't ever take off. PewDiePie bought a seat or something, and he was just like, oh, Yeah, no I remember joke. that, but what... Did anything ever happen? Like, I to... he started one, Drew Gooden did a thing with that. Made what fun was of that it. one? That was the Team Ten, Team 1000. Team thing. 1000. Now he's going to have boxing one... 1000. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Now he's going to do like one of those workout at home, like subscription services <laughs> or some bullshit. Get the Jake Paul boxing you can bag. Buy, yeah, the Jake Paul boxing set, and it's going to be like $1,000. Like, you mean? You can, what, like 100 bucks? you can get a boxing set? He's like, Jake Paul's 20 pound boxing bag. bag is this a, a speed like bag? Bucks. No, this is the Jake Paul heavy bag. This is the Jake Paul heavy bag. When it's you punch it, pounds. the Arduino screen's gonna light up and it's gonna have video instructions <laughs> by me. $40 a month. And like, Jake, you stop making videos. There's only one. Yeah, guys. Yeah, that's what happens oh, with all God. the other shit. Is he basically news. just makes a thing, puts like some shit on there, and then people pay for it, and then it just never gets updated ever again. Just check this out. I heard that there's a merger. Trump University just sold to Jake Paul. Jake, Jake, Jake Paul, Paul, Paul University. University. Paul Trump on his college. You got the guy that's now got a reality TV show about birds. You know, oh, Mike Tyson. Okay. You know, he's got a show about watching birds. So you're going to have two dads fighting, and then you're going to have a kid fighting a dad. A kid fighting a dad. Nick, like, dad, I hate you. The kid is also, like, has a huge height advantage. Height, advantage. weight, reach. Just like everybody he's fought. <laughs> I don't know about speed, it's like so I don't know stupid. Nate Robinson kept up his speed over the years, but I mean Jake Paul's always looked a little clunky in the ring, so I imagine he Nate Robinson might have speed advantage, but I mean even with all the advantages like Nate Robinson cleared a floor with that guy. Hopefully. That'd be fun. I, I don't want either of them to win. I want Roy Jones Jr. to win, I guess. His island was fun. I saw Roy Jones Jr. fight like a twenty eight year old and he looked what pretty hell? good. He whooped the shit out of us. The boxing what? The Federation of Boxing, FIA or something, I don't know. The FIA? No, that's cars. cars. What's the boxing <laughs> one? The FAA? But pound for pound, Roy Jones Jr. is considered the number five fighter of all time. Mike Tyson, everybody's top of his time, but not pound for pound, so they put him at eight or nine. So you have the number five pound for pound fighter versus like the number nine one, mm -hmm. but like 20 or 30 years too late. <laughs> yeah, way too late. That would have been a cool fight back in, like, the 80s. Gosh. I should have got the announcement for the Mike Tyson fight during, like, the Phantom Menace trailer instead of the movie team. <laughs> NHL put out details of their quarantine. Yeah. Er, so they got 14 restaurants available for the players. You know the MLB guys looking over there like, oh, fuck. WNBA's like, I think I could skate. I could put a puck in the net. <laughs> Four it check, pretty back good. check. Paycheck. No, it's more like sandwich. It's not a sandwich. Not a gotcha. box. <laughs> not a box lunch. Uh, but Way like, cheaper in Canada. Probably the biggest news out of NHL is like Dougie Hamilton. Will he? Won't he? Most no, important he said player. No today. He said no. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cancel NHL. <laughs> I'm done. So it's looking pretty good for the Dallas Stars. Mm -hmm. They're gonna win the Stanley Cup. You heard it here first. There's a couple players. Uh, Crawford was out because of COVID. Um, Stamkos isn't going to play, it looks like, through the playing round. Crosby's still like... Mm. Crosby's been skating, at least. Yeah. So. Most interesting game I'm interested in the playing round is probably the Maple Leafs and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Just cut it there. Just cut it there, Jamie. <laughs>